Fantastic. Just what we needed. Damn! That's a lot of oranges. They always play this on the Polk Station. It's a shame, they need bigger selection. No, I'm just kidding. I don't actually really like the Polka, but it's funny. Like, go to the next song, I bet it'll be hysterical. Oh, that actually sounds pretty serious. Let's try the next one. Uh-oh. Oh, that guy's a moron. Actually, I should probably take that. Right, so I spent my Sunday doing pretty much two things. Sleeping and Photoshop email computer work. And I guess three things. Cutting uh, some business cards. With tech cores, we used to have business cards, so I decided I'd make some. I just want to be able to have my contact information on a card so I can hand it to somebody and tell them instead of uh, having to send it to them or just a pain. So, made in Photoshop right here. I have this one covering the corner because that's where my cell phone is and uh, I don't need random people calling me, but um, I printed it out on this cardstock because the expensive business card paper I bought. Um, doesn't work with my printer because it's perforated and it gets in the printer and then gets like screwed up and it doesn't match the template. So uh, I have the document here. It's in 300 DPI. That's why it's so big. The bottom right hand corner is where my uh, cell phone number goes. I just turned off that layer here in Photoshop. But I think it looks pretty decent. I've kind of got a water drop effect with a um, gradient over the back. Definitely a lot better than the ones we had with Tech Course, which are actually right here. Let me see if my phone number's on. I'm off to hide that. Nope, my phone number is not on it. And I mean, this wasn't that bad, but the quality cert certainly is different. And the colors, I mean, this is there's supposed to be a pattern there, and that looks awful. I don't really like that font anymore. That's definitely a little cleaner, but you know. I've come a long way in uh, Photoshop skills, so I'm glad it's gotten better that way. What should I do with all these Tech Cores business cards? Maybe some matches could come in use? <laughs> Alright. Without waking anybody, everybody up, I'll just come over here in the kitchen. I don't know if they can hear me from here or not. But I think it's still snowing outside. It's been snowing for about two hours. Uh, we'll look out the back. Porch light always tells us. Nope, not right now. It is not snowing right now, but it has been. Ground has started to turn white. It's supposed to be snow and ice all evening, so it'd be really cool if tomorrow were an ice day from school. Tomorrow's President's Day. Around here, we're the only district that has it because we had four snow days, and our moron governor from last year thought it was a good idea to take it down to three. So, uh, we're doing going to school tomorrow for President's Day to make that up. Only about 50% of the people are going. I'm going because I just don't feel like getting behind. I already missed a day last week for being sick. And uh, I don't want more work to do. So whatever. I'm just going to go. It'll probably be a pretty easy day. But it would be awesome if we got a snow day out of it. And it's still fairly warm out here in the garage. I can't get over there since the bike's in the way. But it's only about 30 outside. It's probably 35 in here. All the ice on the car melted. I drove it to dinner. There was, um, We were in dinner for about an hour, hour and a half. Long time. And... Um, there was a lot of ice on it when I came out. Everything was frozen over. I didn't have a brush, so I just used the rear defroster. But it's all melted down now. When I parked it and you know put it first, turned the engine off. Uh, the the check service, BMW's check service on the digital stuff by the speedometer came on and told me that my oil was down. So I came over and pulled the dipstick, checked that, and it is down a little bit um, to the point where they want you to fill it up. So it's 10W60 synthetic oil. All I have is 5W30 because that's what the IVTEC in the, this is the V6 Honda Accord um, has. So we're going to have to go over and get more oil. And I think it needs an oil change because on the computer inside, there's like yellow lights, then orange, and then red. And all the yellow ones are filled up. So next is orange, and orange means replace. So instead of paying BMW $200 to do it, we're going to try to do it ourselves this week. And I'll make a video about that, probably. My dad will come over and uh, we'll just do that this week. But anyhow, I think it has on... Um, we got it in July, and it's been driven about 3,000 miles since then. I've driven about 3,000. So, you know, we haven't done oil yet. I guess we're going to have to now. Not a big deal, but I, I need to figure, it out, figure out how I can do it myself because I don't want to be paying BMW $200 to do it every year.